Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to boot into your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad that has a tethered jailbreak, and this is just a one-click boot. So it is really amazing, and what you're going to have to do, first of all, is make sure that your iTunes is the latest version, which is 10.1.1, and to do that, simply open up iTunes and then click Help and then about iTunes and it will show you right there what version it is and if you are not up to date it should automatically ask you to update if it doesn't then you can come to this website right here and download iTunes so you're also going to have to get a couple other things the first is the newest version of Red Snow so in order to do that simply come to my website a link will be in the more info and click on where it says Red Snow and you will be taken to a Mediafire download link that contains both the Mac and PC version of Red Snow and you will also have to download your firmware so you click on that firmware icon there and you select your device here and you pick its firmware for 4.2.1 and then you hit download. Now once you have both of those things downloaded you're going to have to extract it if you are on a PC. Uh, if you don't have a tool to extract it you should get WinRAR it is really awesome and a link to get WinRAR will be in the more info so all you have to do is just open it and then open that folder that's inside of the zip folder and then simply open PC or Mac depending on which operating system you're on I will be demonstrating this on a PC so I'm gonna go ahead and simply click PC and then what you're gonna have to do is simply drag red snow right there and drag the please read me right there so once you have both of those there, you will also have to have your firmware on the desktop. Now my firmware is right there. Now once you have all three of these things on your desktop, you're going to make a new folder. And I'm simply going to call it folder for this tutorial. And then once you have that folder made, you're going to take your firmware, put it in the folder, and take red snow, and then put it in the folder. And then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on your desktop, go new, and then hit shortcut. So now all we're going to have to do is select desktop and then OK and then hit next and then you can name it to whatever you want I'm gonna name it to quick boot and then just hit OK and then here is the shortcut right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click go to properties and then we are going to open up the please read me now inside of the please read me you're going to take the target and you are going to copy it and if you will notice right here it says iPhone 3 comma 1 that is for the iPhone 4 it will vary depending on your firmware and to get that name all you're going to do is come to where your firmware is and because we just put it in the folder it'll be right here and then all you have to do is just copy that name right there and then just paste it instead of where it says mine right there so then you will take this whole thing and copy it and then for the target you're going to delete whatever's there and then paste the new target there with the correct firmware name and then you're going to take the start in text right there copy that paste it where it says start in and then where these brackets are you're just going to delete it and my folder name is folder so I'm just going to put folder there and then my username I'm just going to delete that and put in my username and then the drive my drive is the C drive so I'm going to put a capital C there and then just hit apply and then OK so now that we have our shortcut made we're going to go back into the folder then we're going to right click on red snow go to properties and then compatibility and then run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2 and then for privilege level we are going to check off run this program as administrator and then hit apply and then hit OK and then we can cancel out of this folder and we can set the folder aside before I demonstrate this I'm going to prove to you guys that my iPad is actually on 4.2.1 now in order to do this 
All I'm going to do is respring because only users on 4.2.1 who are jailbroken with Red Snow get that pineapple logo once they respring. So that proves it. And what we're going to do here before we actually run the program is we're going to set this into DFU mode. And this is something you're going to have to do every single time when you want to run your tethered boot. What you're going to do is hold down the home and power button for a total of 10 seconds together and continue holding for 10 total seconds. Let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for a total of 20 seconds. And you will know it's in DFU mode because your computer will let you know and it will make some sort of sound to tell you that a device is connected. Then what we're going to do is simply run our shortcut. Now it instantly just goes into patching it and now it is starting to reboot and as you can see right here we have the pineapple logo and it is booting up and now on the computer it says that it is done so we can just hit finish and now it is continuing to boot up and when this boots up successfully you guys will know that this does work and it is just a one click boot into your tethered eye device. And as you can see, it's getting ready to turn on right now. We have the notification on Windows there. And now my iPad is up and it's ready to go. And it's booted right back up. So I hope you guys like this video. I was just showing you guys how you can use the newest version of Red Snow to boot into your iDevice in one click. So please subscribe if this helped. And as always, comment and rate. This is ICU signing out.